Welcome to Scrapbooking Made Simple. Today we are going to work with our gel plates, distress oxides and stencils. This is a great time just to have a load of fun making lots of different backgrounds. We're not going to be too particular about how they end up looking because what we're going to do is end up just cutting little squares and portions out of them to create our layout. So get your supplies out, get your brayers, get some stencils out. Remember it doesn't have to cover the full gel plate because we are just using small sections of our prints. Grab some scrap pieces of paper, even maybe some old music paper, some old scrapbook paper that you don't really like um, and let's have some fun. Just adding your distress oxides direct to plate. Really doesn't matter what colours you want to use, it's completely up to you. You could have two colours together, you could have three colours, you could do a full rainbow if you wanted to. Just have fun with it. Adding them direct to the plate. See, I've got lots of leftover <laughs> paint on mine, so I've just turned mine over to make it easier to use the distress oxides. All right, grabbing our brayer, moving from lightest to darkest. Just get that on. Grab your sheet of paper. Smooth that over and you've got a beautiful background ready to go. Now we can layer direct on the plate as well or we can layer up. So now we might add some some features, some uh, maybe some flowers. Let's see how we go. So just remember having a scrap bit of paper off to the side so you can roll the ink off your brayer. If you find that it is quite juicy and staying on there, just make sure that you have a, a, a damp cloth next to you and then you can wipe that down. Okay, so we might add, let's go, I want to do fossilized amber and see how we go. So just adding that to the plate. Smooth that out with your brayer. Adding a stencil over the top, placing your paper back down. The great thing working with distress oxides and the gel plate that you can just keep making layers because uh, it doesn't take very long to dry. There we go. That looks kind of fun. And you can keep adding layers to that if you wanted to. Um, we're only going to use just a small section of it. So have fun making some backgrounds and playing with your Distress Oxides, playing with some different colour combinations um, and seeing where you want to go. So if you have a photo in mind for this layout, try to tie in the colours as much as you can. Um, if not, just have a bit of fun and see where it takes you.
All right, once you have finished your prints and you're happy with what you have, we are going to cut them down. So choose a piece of plain cardstock that you want to be your background for your layout. So we need to tidy up some space. <laughs> All right, put our gel plate to the side. Okay, so what color should we have? Um, I think a blue with these colors that I've used. Let's see how this one goes. All right, so we need to cut these down. We're going to do something um, that's going to make it look like we've created hexagons, but we haven't. <laughs> We're going to trick our eye a little bit. So we need to have three, six, nine squares that are three and three quarter by three and three quarter inches. multiples of the squares so that you can have a play with the designs. Once you have your squares cut out, you can lay them on your layout and figure out where you want to put them. So you just audition them in different spaces to work out what's going to work. happy with these ones you want them 
to be joined together. Camera out a little bit. Move that around till you're happy with the design. Just play around with how you want everything to sit and then we are going to stick those squares down to our layout. So you're giving yourself a quarter inch quarter inch border around. Adhere those down with tape or with uh, glue up to you and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is create our hexagons. So what we're going to do is grab some plain cardstock, the same size, same color as your base, and cut it at one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And we're going to need to cut nine of those. And then we will cut some in half as well. One, two, Eight. 
then we're going to cut four in half. And then we're going to cut one into four. Okay. So these ones line up in the middle. ones in the corner. And we have created our hexagons. Okay, so the last thing that before we stick these down is to decide where you're going to place your photos. So you'll cut your photos down to three and a half and three and a half and then just have a few. It's up to you. And then you could add a journaling box as well. So grab those photos, work out where you're going to place them and then stick these ones down. Add your photos on and then stick on your pieces and add a title.
there we go. Once you have everything stuck down, you can add a title and some journaling and your layout is finished. Now you can always add more photos, you could complete it however you would like. You could even use this technique um, in an art journal layout if you wanted to or even on a card just using smaller proportions. We hope you have enjoyed this scrapbooking class today and we look forward to seeing your layouts.